All right, as we always do, we're going to time this. We're going to time this. Now we have, introduce yourself, please. I am Ray Harp. I teach social studies, history, social studies. And your coach. And, and I and I coach some some may know me already as a coach. That's right. And what what do you I mean basketball is your main coaching gig, but don't you do um, something else? Don't you coach field hockey as well? I have coached field hockey and lacrosse in the past. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you're outstanding in every way. Now, what's one thing? Do you be teaching US one to the freshmen, right? I believe I'm teaching I don't know if I'm teaching US one. Uh, yeah, uh, no, I think it is great. Okay, is it, we're, okay. both, we're both teaching US one. Outstanding. Uh, for early American. What's one thing you like about teaching that course? Well, one of the best things, one of the things that I like the most about teaching uh, freshman history is I get a chance to teach freshmen. Uh, it's an exciting time. It's an exciting time for us, and it's, exciting, and it's an exciting time for the kids also. Um, when I'm teaching freshmen, I love the fact that I get a chance to, to uh, uh, meet kids when they're in their beginning stages of their high school career. I, I, you know, I have a chance to know them a little bit more. I have good relationships with a lot of kids that have had me as a freshman. I get a chance to see how, how they've changed over the course of, of their uh, four-year careers by the time they're juniors and seniors. I really know them. So I really like, like the freshman age. Uh, the material is pretty cool. I like the early American uh, material, but, I, but the material is pretty cool also. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, I think that sometimes the uh, – I totally agree. I love freshmen. And I love watching them age. And when you meet them on early, early, then you really get to see that progress. Um, mm -hmm. I think early U.S. can be a tough sell sometimes, but it's it's really great. It's really, you know, everything that we're dealing with now is in that early U.S. history. Right. So, uh, you know, I think as much as we can, you know, when we talk about tariffs or race or anything like that, you know, you just see it right from the beginning. All that's all those, all that tension and all the arguments are starting right back then and kind of informing. Um, now, what were you like as a freshman? Is a question I have for you. I was really, really quiet. Mm -hmm. um, I, was, uh, I was lucky enough when I was a freshman in high school, I was walking into a school where my older brother had just graduated. And so I, I believe that I knew everybody. I believe that I knew everybody and everybody would take care of me. And unfortunately I was, I was lost about five minutes into my first day of freshman year yeah but uh, uh you know i i was a quiet kid who wanted to try and make things work for himself that didn't always work that way yeah 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 totally did you like history then i did yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, i think that i was more interested in trying to uh you know i thought i was going to be a basketball player i thought i was going to go out and and meet everybody and and know everything but i was uh you know for for the classroom for figuring out what was going on in the classes uh you know i i quickly learned that i could be a pretty smart kid too yeah you know um i love being a teacher as i know you do too and but teaching history is such a pleasure you know i, I just think it's a you know I just because we love it that we and that's cool because I talk to other teachers and they just love teaching math and I'm like I don't know how that's possible but they all do and and I mean it's a, it's a you know I'm also teaching AP Gov and politics this year and it's certainly it's a contentious time you know history is right there on the surface you know so mm -hmm. that's cool now um of oh, now in your room you have and you should take a photo of it for your for your freshman you have basically like stuffed animal versions of very important historical people, right? Like a lot of yeah. them. They're like, yeah. a lot of, they're not puppets, but they're like, like Beanie Babies, but they're like Einstein and other people. Yeah, they are, uh, uh, they're not dolls, they're action figures. Uh, yeah. Nobody thinks they're action figures, but I call them action figures because you can make them fight. <laughs> um. <laughs> they're soft and padded action figures. <laughs> no one gets really, hurt. Really they're okay. really, really soft action figures. They, <laughs> now, let um, me ask you, what's, what's one of them that you really admire of, all, the, of all, the, all of your action figures? What's one where you look, you look over and you're like, wow, I admire that one? Uh, uh, I don't know if I have a favorite, but 
I, I do know that uh, one of them got a chance to see the world because some students kidnapped him. Einstein uh -huh. was kidnapped uh -huh. about 10 years ago. They, they took him and they, uh, they took pictures of him and sent me ransom notes from yeah. all over the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> true story, true story. He actually went to, he actually went to Italy with one of my students over spring uh, break. So uh, now did Einstein get back on the, on the shelf? Eventually. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, that's proof that the universe is curved, right? <laughs> he boomeranged around. Well, Ray, thanks so much for talking with us. Any of the students who are lucky enough to have you are, are, are in really good hands, and we'll see you in a, in a couple of weeks. Well, I look forward to seeing them also. Uh, again, good luck, everybody. It's an outstanding opportunity you have in a great school. Awesome. Thank you.